The top two things a school can offer a student to make their college experience a good one are good academic programs that stimulate the mind and good athletic programs that get the students involved with the campus itself. Here at Southeast Missouri State University, better known around the country as SEMO, they're very successful at doing one and failing miserably at the other. Academically, SEMO is doing just fine. If you don't believe me, take a look around on a Monday afternoon like this and you'll see students going to and from classes eager to learn. However, go to a SEMO sporting event and you're probably going to see something similar to this. The school is virtually a ghost town when it comes to athletics. Now why is that? Well, it's not because there aren't teams to root for. SEMO has had a gymnastics program, which last year was nationally ranked. Both the women's soccer and basketball teams have gone to national championship NCAA tournaments. And they even have a baseball team, which consistently has beaten top 10 nationally ranked teams. So the problem is, it's not whether there are rooting teams to win for, it's the teams that are winning, or in this case, not. The football program, which is usually a college's most recognizable sports team, has been struggling in recent years. You'd have to go all the way back to 2002 to find the Red Hawks' last winning season, and 2003 to find their last winning conference season. After a dismal 2005 season, where the Red Hawks finished just 2-9, and nine, the program thought it was time for a change. They fired then-head coach Tim Billings and hired new head coach Tony Samuel. The only problem is Samuel has not fared much better than Billings, going just 13-32 and 32 in his first four years, including this past season, which saw the Red Hawks go 2-9. and nine. And as things come full circle, the students have finally figured that this is the last straw. It's a real disappointment because a lot of my friends go to Mizzou and, you know, other big, big 10 college schools, you know, those huge schools. And it's a real disappointment because I want to have that experience of going to big sports games on my campus but we really don't have that here. I mean, honestly, the entire time I've been here, I'm a junior, I've been to three football games, just the homecoming ones, and I think we've lost two of them. And it's, it's really taking me out of it. I don't really have that much school spirit. So maybe football is to blame for the lack of attendance at athletic games. However, they're not alone. The men's basketball team had just three wins all of last season, none of which came in conference play. And with football season done and basketball season just about ready to start, it looks like SEMO Athletics is going to have to endure a longer, colder winter than they originally thought. For KDMC News, I'm Joe Greller.